Well, good morning, my friends. I'm here at my back porch. It is a rather cool day, uh, 60 something, 63, 64 degrees. And uh, my hands actually feel ooh, a little chilly. So uh, getting them all warmed up here so I can play with my worms and get a little circulation in the hands. And uh, this was where I had my two worm bins uh, 12 days ago. We uh, finished with where we were with them. Uh, we started out with 50 uh, worms during the summer and it, it grew and you can see I had my uh, packing peanuts, the biodegradables, it kind of slowed this side down, but then it, it caught up, it, it did very well. And each side gave me about three and a half pounds of uh, castings, beautiful castings. And I'm sure if I went through those castings, I'd probably find some more little um, cocoons that have now uh, come to life and, and they're now joined the, joined the crowd of worms. So anyway, uh, I don't think I'll be doing that today, but I just wanted to give you just kind of the history of it. And I'm going to uh, now pretty much run both of these bins the same. You know, uh, if I can think of another little uh, challenge for them, I uh, may go ahead and, and try that. But I think for the most part, we'll just see where we're going here. So uh, let's start off with our, our left side and see if uh, anything's happened. I don't see anybody there. Um, I do want to make sure I give them some um, some liquids. Uh, excuse me, and this is actually, this is a combination of worm tea and water. <coughs> excuse me. And, um, and this great spray bottle. I could sell these things on the side of the road, I think. Uh, Flowmaster, really a great one. I, I really like it. Anyway, it has an adjustable... Uh, nozzle and I just realized you can take the whole thing apart because I did I took it apart and I cleaned it out because my my sprayer because I was using worm tea and it you know uh, you're gonna have particles in that worm tea so anyway uh, good little good little workhorse um, I'm going to pull this one back and leave this over here and we're gonna pull this one back reaching across there sorry and see how we did and the last time I was here was 12 days ago and I see I'm getting little little sprouts probably the um, Everglades tomatoes they're coming up everywhere uh, for those of you I sent uh, seeds uh, put them where you want them because they're gonna they're gonna stay anyway what I uh, did for both of these was I gave them um, some drake elm leaves that I had pulverized and you can see I mean the moisture in this is just tremendous um, it's still here and of course I have a lid on it so it's not going to dry out I mean this has a lid on it so it's not going to dry out and this has a lid on it so it's not going to dry out but let's just see where we are uh, <clears throat> with our worms I can see around the edges looks like maybe it did get a little dry and I just really want to just get in here and do a little fluffy fluff. Uh, let's see, what did we do the last time? Oh, right, we gave it um, toilet rolls. Kind of make it a... Let's see what I did. I question myself. Nice little worms. Like I said, it's getting cooler, and the, the reason I said it was getting cooler was not just so you could guys could go, wow, we're, we're even colder, how dare you tell us how nice and warm you are, but uh, also that the worms are out here at night, and um, red wigglers, you know, the 50 to 70, they're, they're happy, it's 7, uh, sorry, 50 to 90, uh, they can survive. Um, that... 75 maybe is where they really thrive so uh, survive and thrive those are our two uh, things that we're aiming for let me just bring up that side 
lots of uh, leaf mulch here. My friend uh, Sandra at Nana's Garden and Worms is the one who turned me on to I don't think there's anybody. Oh, yeah, well, had a little bit in there. Just just one little worm. I don't think I can see anybody in there. Can you guys, can you see? You can see my hand in there, right? So they really haven't crawled inside. I was just leaving it. I don't think I stuffed it. I think I just left it more as a, a spot for them. Oh, this one's falling apart. And, oh yeah, I guess it does. It, it does have more worms inside. What did I put in there? Was that Moringa? Yeah, lots of little worms. And they're getting bigger. You know, I had a lot of little worms. And remember, this is a tiny, tiny spot. I have a new friend. Um, the name of his channel is Burnt Church. All one word. Uh, like the church burnt down, you know, burnt church, and um, very, very nice man. He's up in Tennessee, and I'm so proud that I actually talked somebody into something because for I've been doing this since 2009, and I don't know anybody I've actually coaxed into raising worms. Um, people go, oh yeah, that's nice, but to be honest, as I'm, uh, somebody asked. <laughs> They hadn't seen me for a day or two, and I said, well, I was filling out Christmas cards, and I had to uh, remind myself that whenever I am doing Christmas cards, I don't tell anybody that I'm raising worms, because I tried in 2009, and uh, I was kind of crazy Aunt Peggy, and uh, or, or, you know, crazy this one, um, our, our crazy niece, you know, as, you know, I still had older relatives at the time, and um, raising worms. I mean, you know, what are you, going into f a fishing or something? Is that? And I had to explain the whole thing to them, and they still looked at me in total wonder or bewilderment, one of the two. And um, so I don't really go into what I'm doing. But anyway, back to Burnt Church. Um, he started a channel and uh, seems like a very nice man. And he has a, um, a, a sawmill. And I find it fascinating all the different things he does. But he started with uh, a worm bin. And he has one just tiny like this. And he started with uh, 60 worms. And he just started a couple days ago. So it's fun to have that new excitement of, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm giving this a shot. There's a few in there, not many. This was the one that was, uh, oh no, there are two in there. How did you guys get together? All right. All right, so we're just going to rebuild these, I think. How about if we give it a little tear so we can pack it. And uh, what I'm going to give them is um, I have moringa that I, I cut and I uh, dehydrated a lot of it and some of it is just some branches and I have some that I dried and you know moringa is the, uh, the tree of life so it's really really good for them. It's like mom give me vitamins. Go back over here. We're going to cut this one open with our fingers. Give that a little bit of moringa. There we go. And then don't laugh because everyone should, but don't laugh. Laugh with me. Don't laugh at me. These are my Mickey Mouse treats for the worms. I'm going to give each one one, and you can see that not only are they lovely and decorated, that it's actually Minnie Mouse because she's got the strawberry tops and her little her little uh, hairdo. So that you're going to get one right over there, 
and even Steven, you're going to get one over here. There we go. And what else can we give them on top? Oh, right. We have eggshells, and the eggshells have been pulverized. Why? Because they use it as grit for their gizzard. Now, there's a lot of studies out there that say that you really don't have to. Uh, with all of the uh, sand that's in my uh, leaf mold here, I'm sure that they could uh, handle it just fine. But not only is this going to add grit uh, to their gizzard, but it's also going to add calcium to their poop, to their castings. And my garden really enjoys that bit of calcium. Helps with the goodies. And even if they can do it by themselves, what the heck. Let's, let's be sports and give the two of them. And let's see, do we have anything else out here? I think, uh, no, I think that's gonna be about it. I think we're just gonna stick with those treats and we are going to uh, give them a little bit more of the leaf mulch. Make sure they're nice and packed in. And I have to say, you know, it's funny because uh, as we do this, you know, we're, we're all learning. I mean, gee, I, I look back at what, I, what was I uh, making videos on two years ago and I was just starting out, and boy, I was just, I was afraid to do this, as it was not in my uh, comfort zone. And it took me back to the first time in 2009 when I bought the worms, and uh, the lady who sold them to us um, was uh, in her 70s at the time, which is where I am now, uh, or maybe she was a little older, and... Um, Ah, oh, you just, you know, you just do this. Now nah, you just do that. And I, I thought, oh my, she's so accomplished at it. It's like she isn't even looking at what she's doing. And you realize that the first time you change a baby is like, oh my goodness, I'm going to break the baby. By the time you're, you're a mom or you have uh, several kids, oh, you could do it blindfolded, uh, you know, in the dark. <laughs> you know? And so there we have it. I'm going to wet this down give it a little bit of water I mean it seemed like it was perfectly moist but what I was gonna say is when I harvested these and I got three and a half pounds which was a big coffee tin uh, coffee plastic container boy when I would pick those up because this is close to a pound and then I had worms left over it, it was a it was a solid it was a solid five pounds picking it up. And now it feels like whenever I came out and it was drier and I didn't hadn't added all this, it felt like, boy, was this a, a lightweight and we're starting again, you know. So um, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to show you guys this. Was I, I had some corrugated um, cardboard that I tried to pull apart. And uh, what I wanted to do was I wanted to lay that on top of it and wet it down and see if the worms would like to come over here put the coffee filter back on such as it's breaking down we'll do the same thing over here Rinse my fingers at the same time. There we go. And it's plant obsessed as always putting in her corrugated cardboard. She says the worms like to kind of lay in there and I think make whoopee. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure what they're what the heck they're doing. Those little rascals. So there you have it. I'm a little messy this morning. I got my Christmas cards done. I am so pleased. I love getting Christmas cards, but boy, gee, when you have to write them, you kind of, you think, oh, gee, would people still send me a Christmas card if I didn't send them one? But it's nice to catch up. It's nice to let your friends know that you're 
you're still with them and still having a good time with life and maybe someday I'll share with them that I'm um, I have a lot of friends and I just I absolutely love this little community of warm people it's just a, it really is a uh, it, it's a real find. It's a real treasure. And so um, I have to thank you all, those of you who, who watch and actually watch the whole thing and make comments. Uh, I mean, I'm not making any great uh, roads into uh, the world of uh, YouTube, but I am having a good time along the way, and that's probably more important in life is to, uh, is to have a good time. So... Um, I hope everybody has uh, a wonderful day and uh, that you'll come back and see me again real soon. And if you haven't started a little shoe box here, please do. Give it, give it a shot. It's so simple. Look, this has, uh, what's that, three, five, seven, nine, twelve holes in the top of each one that was just a, a quarter inch or half inch. And then we took a... Um, What's that called? I don't know. That kind of a drill that you put a little round thing on the end of your drill bit and then you make holes in it. But if you didn't have that, then just make more little holes like this. Now, the inside, because the holes are so big, and you can see what I did here, is I just took some netting and put tape over it. I did the same on the holes in here. And uh, the, the worms aren't going to get out. They're not going anywhere. I doubt they would probably go anywhere anyway, but, you know, for safety's sake, we don't want them to fall off the side of the boat and break their little necks, so, uh, <laughs> just joking. Um, so anyway, that, that was it. I just wanted to say I hope that you guys will give me the gift of telling your friends to either watch me or watch you or watch somebody, and we can all say that we instilled another million worm people in 2023. I think that would just be wonderful. Think of how much we would save and in, in putting into um, the landfills. So with that said, take care everybody. I hope you have a great day and I hope to see you back real soon. Bye-bye.